Welcome to this special VidPenguin2 bonus training. And if you're watching this video, you've made a great decision by helping us feed tacos to our uh, VidPenguin by giving us an AppSumo taco review. Hopefully it's a five taco and you enjoy the, the content. Now on this video, I'm going to just show you, a, it's a very quick uh, trick that I use to make playlist promo templates. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and show you a playlist and show you how I set up a template and saved it and then how I can reuse it again. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, this is a YouTube playlist that I'm working on and I'll just... So I've got two videos I want to upload in into VidPenguin and they're all in the same playlist so I can send them to the exact same template. So I'll go over here and this is the first one I want to send over is this one. Now it's showing it in the playlist itself, but I want to take this copy down here, a share. I'm going to just copy this. Now you can copy this and then take off the playlist, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. I make that copy, come up here to VidPenguin, hit add. And I'm going to paste it in here. Now, this Geek Out Friday playlist, I've got some videos going all the way back to 2019. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through grabbing those videos out of the playlist and then running them through VidPenguin. I've never run them through, so I'm going to run the entire playlist. But I'm doing it one at a time. Okay, so I get data. Okay, title and description, that all looks good. I'm just going to jump through here. I'm not going to spend anything. That's what the thumbnail looks like. I hit update. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. Move to thumbnails tab and create variations. I'm not going to add any new thumbnails. I'm going to go ahead and go through all the variations. Use those. Move to integrations. Okay. Now this is where I'm going to use a template. I'll choose the drop down. And this is my playlist, Geek Out Friday's ping list. And I'm just going to use this right here and copy the templates. Say OK. Now, what it does is it's just a, a template that you can save however you want. And what I do is I like to save it as a playlist template. So for this playlist, I'm going to send out all my link variations and I'm going to post it at the same time. I'm not going to drip link processor. So. Close that. WordPress. I'm going to send to this one WordPress to the video SEO category. And I can use an Amazon bucket in here if I want to. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's do VidPenguin. And I have a category for, or for images. There we go. Okay, now that's set up. Now you can leave this off and we'll just use the thumbnail with it. Go over here to Blogger, and I've got Blogger. All these integrations were down here, and I'm going to send out six variations, but I'm going to evenly post, meaning I'm going to spread it out over these three blogs over the course of the drip feed. So I'm going to send out six, so that means each of these are going to get two each when I do evenly. If I do all, that would mean every one of these would get six. And I don't, I just want to evenly spread it out. Six days, I'm ready to go. And if you wanted to add, you can just add another Google account, and another blog. Okay, so that's good to go. Uh, Twitter, I am going to send it to these four Twitter accounts. Now, I'm going to do evenly, and I've got it set up for 12, meaning it's going to go three each, because I'm doing evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this, and this is totally up to you. I'm going to go down to eight. So I'm going to do two each. Okay. Eight into four is two. And I'm going to send it to link processor. So whenever they get posted to Twitter, I'm going to send it out to link processor. A video embed post. I've got four of these. I'm going to go evenly. So four variations into four makes it one each. Okay. And let's go down here to the PBM. 
Now, we have a PBM included in with your VidPenguin uh, purchase. So pick out a blog that you want to send it to. I'm going to go, this is Geek Out Friday, so I probably need, let's just go ahead and put it on ranking videos, content marketing. I'm going to put it on SEO tips and video ranking. Now you can choose all these, but these are the ones that it applies best to. Okay. And I'm going to close this. Go to Amazon and VidPenguin. So I'm building an Amazon HTML page, just a static page. I'm going to preview it so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. So it will have the the, the video thumbnail and a watch on YouTube and short title and the description. So it's going to look pretty decent. If you have masher sites, which are part of the RSS masher products, these are our auto blogs. So I'm going to post two to all of them, meaning two here, two here, two here. And this is tips to live by, best business blogs, and spin picks. So I know this is a link pin. This is kind of like a booster page. And then these are video blogs. Actually, that's a news blog, and that's a video site. So I've got three different types in there. Now, I'm not going to use a new thumbnail. Use the same thumbnail that came with it. Now, I can come over here and choose the author if I want it. I'm just going to random, random, and put this one here. I'll do random also. Or you could leave default, or you could choose the author. Okay, perfect. Typically, you don't want to go in and change this if you've already got it set up, but I'm showing you how I, I use it. Now, this is Booster Pages. If you have purchased Booster Pages, you can use it from inside of your VidPenguin just by integrating with the API code. Okay. Now, once you're all done, you would hit Update. Now, I have changed some things on it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as a new template so I can use it on another video. I'll hit Add. I'm good to go. So move to ping tab. We're ready to come up to ping tab. Now, these are videos that I have posted in the past. So I don't want to do them all at once. I don't want to tell Google that I'm spamming the links. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drip it over 60 days. Now you can go up to a year in the future. I like 60 days, uh, especially with the number of links that we have. So I hit update. Now, what I've done is all the link pro all the variations that you created, they're all going to go to link processor all today. Okay. And then these are going to be drip fed over 60 days. I've got 65 links that uh, we're sending out. So I'm going to hit freeze and ping. And I'm done. Okay. So come back up here to dashboard. And now what I'm going to do is go to video ping. So I'm going to grab a, another one that I have not posted yet. So that is Geek Out Fridays. Pause it right there. Hit share. Copy. Go back into Vid Penguin and click add. Paste it. Okay. Everything looks good. Now, again, I can spin the title and the description if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Hit update. Move to thumbnails. And this is the speed that you're going to be able to create if you have a playlist template. So I'm going to create my variations and come down here and move to integrations tab. Now I'm going to come up here and choose that new one. There it is. And copy it all down. So instead of having to manually do these, that's all you do. Move to ping, put it at 60 days, hit update, and there we go. Freeze and ping, and we're done. So within 10 seconds, we've got this set up to send out 65 links over the next 60 days of a video that we posted back in September 24th of 2021. Okay. So 
Let's do one more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these older ones here. This is a good one. And I'm going to hit share, copy, and click add. And I'll post it in. Our auto blogging is done in 20. Let's make it 2022 and beyond. And I'm just going to go ahead and take out the date there. Everything looks pretty decent in here. Hit update. Move to thumbnail. Create variations. Come down here. Move to integrations tab. And I'm going to come up here and choose my playlist. Copy template. Okay, we're good to go. I hit go ahead and hit update and move to ping tab. And again, I'm going to set this at 60 days. Hit update. And come down here, free some ping. Now that's all there is to doing a YouTube playlist template. Okay. And if you need to, you can come over here to your templates. And I'm not going to use this one anymore, so I am going to delete it. Now, you can edit these. If you want to edit the template, you can edit where it's being sent, the frequency, everything in here within, within up here. So you can modify your templates right here. Okay. Or you can start out by adding a template if you wanted to. So I hope this helps and keep on pinging, guys. Bye-bye.